Hey, what's up, everybody? So today's video, we're going to do another easy one and get it set up. So we're going to do an elevator action death parade. So I want to show you how to get the game set up for your techno parrot. There will be some settings that will need a little bit of explanation. And I'll show you how to get these bezels and these doors onto your game. I want to have some pre-made ones for you. And then you can just put these through a photo editor. And then you can just edit these bezels to however you like. All right. So anyways, let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, so uh, first off, you'll need to update your Techno Parrot if you haven't in a while. Um, a lot of games fall off the subscription based. I know these two used to be sub games, and now they're not. And it looks like if you're running the Uncle Rick build, uh, Walking Dead, and maybe House of the Dead 4, I can't remember if I put this one on there or not, but these should be the only ones that would need subscription if you're running that build. Hey, well, today the focus is going to be on an elevator action at death parade. So while we're here, let's go ahead and do this. I'll show you how to add this game on here. We'll pretend I never had on here to begin with. So we're going to find the game first. Add game. I'm uh, just going to put this down to a shooter. And through here, you can also tell which games are subscription games as well. Um, Akuma is, Crossfire is, but that's a brand new one that came out, so that's understandable. Uh, but the one we're looking for is uh, Elevator Action Death Parade, so I'll go ahead and add game. Now, this on its own is not going to add the game, but it's going to let Techno Parrot find the game. Okay, and the one I'm using right here is Elevator Action Death Parade 2009 Tato Type X2 TP Edition. Now, just be creative in your web searches and you'll come across it. You may not have this exact one, but it should at least have Elevator Action Death Parade. Uh, I'm sure just like Elevator Action we had in the last time, if it already has your reshade and shaders on there, then I wouldn't use it. It's probably especially made for an older type of a Techno Parrot or for a standalone. And standalones aren't really just straightforward to do. Unlike the Techno Parrot on this version, on some versions of standalones, Techno Parrot, the standalone version is a better way to go than Techno Parrot, which I usually favor standalones when I can. However, in this case, it's it can get pretty complex to get it tuned down just right. All right, but your file structure should look something like this. Um, we'll go ahead and take these doors out because you will not have these natively for most builds. And just pretend these shaders and reshaders is not in here. Or at least this program right here. Just make sure you don't have that one there. It should look roughly like this. It looks a little bit different. Then that's fine. Just make sure it doesn't have the reshade already on there. If it does, then I would try to look for it and find another one. Okay, so assuming you already have this ready to go. We're going to jump back over here, Techno Parrot, and we're going to launch, we're going to game settings. And we're just going to find our game exe, which is really easy to find. I keep mine right here in my standalone folder. Techno Parrot, uh, Death Parade. And you're just going to do game. Nothing more, nothing less. I'll go over through some of these settings here if you want to use them. Um, leave. Uh, just leave most of this as it is. Uh, crosshairs enable if you want crosshairs, you can check it. I check it just for tutorial purposes, but when I'm playing on my own, I don't use it. Uh, do check your bezel enable. You're not going to have a bezel right off the bat, but whenever we go into download one, then this will enable that bezel to come up. So the game is going to look pretty blank right off the bat. Uh, All right, so go to these settings, and you want to have the uh, enable your bezel. Uh, don't worry about width or thickness. Everything kind of just lies as it is. Uh, bezel scale, you can customize how it looks, but I just leave it at scale. Uh, border enable, I'll check that. Leave the thickness alone. Uh, border, I'll just hit scale as well. Now, this is going to enable the closing doors on the elevator. And I'll show you how to put those up. Really easy, super simple. I click that. If you do want the actual elevator doors closing, 
Um, I'll check that one as well. Now, there's really nothing in the test menu that you need to use for this game. I went through it, and there's, at least as far as I know, anyway, there's nothing you need to use. Okay, and once everything looks good, just go ahead and save your settings. And you want to set up your controller setup. Now, I'm just going to use my mouse today just because I'm being lazy, but by now you should know how to do it with your gun. So I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough. Test, you can set that to whatever. I'm doing number one. So I'm lazy today. I'll make that number two. Uh, coin, we're on free play, so you don't really need coin, but you can set that if you want. I'll make that number three. Um, set your up and down. This will help you if you do get into your test menu. So just up arrow key, down arrow key, uh, select left, enter right. Action button. I'll just make that my mouse middle. Uh, player two, playing two players. Uh, light gun. You would pick your light gun for using it. I'm just using my mouse right now. So I'm just going to go with mouse cursor, trigger, mouse left click, a gun button. We'll just go right button. So, yeah, to save your settings. All right, and that's really it. So let's go ahead and uh, launch the game and test it out. Now, when you do launch it, you're not going to have any um, bezels coming up. It's going to look pretty blank. And something messed up here, so give me a moment. All right, so the game just randomly crashed, and it, it will do that. Okay, so I still have my bezel up here, so let me take it off so it looks like it does for the rest of y'all. When you start the game, it's going to look like this. You're just going to have the small screen in the middle. You're not going to have the reshade because I've already done the reshade, but you haven't on your end yet. So it's just going to be straight game the way it is. And you can go ahead and test your um, shooting, your guns. I believe I can just pull the border up on here. Okay, so I can't which is fine. We'll just use reshade for that. Everything looks good. So I want to get out of here and we're going to finish up. So let's get the uh, border and the elevators up because, you know, playing like that's going to look pretty bland. Now, depending on what pack you have, you may already have an attraction doors pack up here. Actually, I'm just going to leave that link in the description below so you can just go through and use these. So you can just open this up, and this is only for the elevator doors. And you would just pick one matching the resolution you want to use. I'll just go with 1920 by 1080. I'm going portrait. Then you can just right-click all this, copy it. And then you're going to drop it down with your game. All right, simple enough. Now get back into the game, and you can test that out. Make sure everything looks good. Now, you are going to want a bezel when using these elevators because the elevators is going to cover up the entire screen. The bezel does, but not the elevator doors. <clears throat> the doors will show the full doors in motion going back and forth, but you're still going to have a lot of empty space between the elevator doors and the game itself and, of course, the outside. Okay, so you look fine right here, but then you can see the spacing between the elevator doors and the game itself and then you see all that blackness there that's what i'm talking about that's where you need the uh, bezels at okay and to do that you can just use um any uh 1920 by 1080 or whatever your resolution is that's what i normally run it as is 1980 by 1080 i want to use this for my bezel and you can actually just take this, put it in Photo P or just Photoshop or whatever program you have. And you can change these designs out, but it will give you the setting you need for this. And I'm just going to take the BK off. Now, naming is very important. So just make sure that all these are in PNG files. And that says bezel and, of course, right door, door left. And the bezel is kind of like the little rubber part in between doors to kind of help close that spacing out. And also, if you want to do a crosshairs, here's your crosshairs files. And you can just change how those look as well. All right, now let's get back into the game. And I should have it completely filled up. So we're going to launch the game. And we crashed, so we're just going to launch it again. 
This is a very uh, temperamental game when it comes to take no parrot. All right, now we're good. All right, so now we have the uh, border up. So that's going to uh, eliminate all the uh, black area that we've had issues with. All right, and he knows how the uh, doors are closing. So I have a little bit of blackness there, but that's okay. All right, looking good there. Now I want to have a, a custom pack. That's going to be for the doors. And all you would do is just grab all these and drop them into your folder. And now you'll see my little custom doors that I made. Nothing too fancy, but I just like them because, hey, you know, I'm a Walking Dead fan, so I think this is actually the perfect game to drop these in. All right, so again, we're good. We've got our border going on. Go ahead and get something started. Wait for my fancy doors to close. There we go. No one opened dead inside. <laughs> All right, so I want to show that off to you. So I'll be there if you want to use those. Okay, and uh, last to close this up, let's go ahead and get our reshade on there. So you can go and download your reshade. Really easy to find. You'll just go to reshade.me. You're going to hit download. It's going to be the uh, regular reshade at this point. It's 6.3.1. I did not add the full on ad support. I'm sure that does have some benefits, but let's keep it simple. This will work and does everything that we need it to do. All right, so we got it open. Browse, going to browse to the game file itself. I have mine in my F drive, my Techno Parrots. And where you have the game really doesn't matter. Okay, click on your game, and this version should automatically pop you to what you need. So it should be at DirectX 9. If it's not, make sure it is on DirectX 9. Hit next. Yeah, I've already done this before, so I'm just going to uninstall and redo it. All right, here we are back to the game. Get the correct location. Hit next, direct X9. Next, you should come up right here where it says Sweet FX. That's the one you want. Hit next. All right, go ahead and hit finish. And now we can just jump right back into the game. And we'll see if we can get into it right off the bat. Well, also, no crashing. Take it back. We did. It's fine. Seems pretty consistent that the second time getting into it does let us in. Okay, so at this screen, just hit your home button, skip tutorial. If you ever have issues where you get into reshade and it doesn't show anything, just go ahead and get out and just reinstall your reshade. That's what I just had to do. And not everything comes up the way it needs to. All right, so first thing we're going to do is put our border up. Just click border, change that to white. And depending on where you're at, he you may need to go between a range of about 10 to 15. The higher resolution you're running, of course, the more pixels you'll need. I run it 1920 by 1080, so 10 is usually about what I need. And I'm fine with that. I'll go a little bit bigger on this since my border is pretty white as well. All right, and I want to uh, put on Technicolor 2. That, that always just kind of brings out a bit more color and then HDR to kind of even everything out. All right, but um, everyone, that is it. That's how you get 
elevator action death parade running on your system. Anyways, I hope this helped you out and you all have a fantastic day.